And I started Chubby Diaries not out of me thinking about being plus size and stuff like that or fat. Like, I, I didn't think of it that way because uh, I thought I was just going to just be Jeff and just go do it, right? Uh, but it was like everybody kept being like, you need a niche. You need a niche. And so I was like, I don't even know how to find a niche. I went to my cousin who's a PR rep, and she gave me this form to fill out. And when I filled out the form is – I filled it out. And I was like, I, I have nothing. And she was like, why don't you just talk about being fat and black? And I said, oh, my God, why don't <laughs> I talk about just being fat and black? Like, it's so easy to talk about my experience from a plus side or a fat person to uh, just like traveling around the world. And my wife, she uh, she's not plus size. And she was traveling with me. And I was, and this is like when we were like newly married, she was traveling with me and I was like, she said something, something happened. I don't know. We were on a plane or something. And I said, Hey, excuse me, quick question for you. I was like, do you ever worry about like size restrictions or like weight limits? And she was like, no. And I was like, what world do you live in? You know, like I always thought this, like ever since I was a little kid, 10 years old, going to a water park, wet and wild in Orlando, Florida, that was the moment I, I learned about weight limits and like mm -hmm. I have a weight limit. And so that was always a thing. So the fact that I was like, yo, I'm on to something. Cause I was like, I don't know anybody in this space that's coming from my perspective as a, as a plus size black man traveling around the world. And then I realized that in the, in the content social media space, there was nobody actually making it their mission. Like their whole dedicated thing was just plus size travel, like men and women, like plus size travel. It was like, oh, I'm a fashion person and I happen to travel and mm -hmm. I'm plus size. So, so it wasn't like somebody dedicated to the plight of plus size travel. And so mm -hmm. I wanted to like change that narrative. I wanted to, to bring more light to it. And that's how I started with like Chubby Diaries back in 2018. Yeah, there's a lot of people who aren't fat that follow me. Mm -hmm. And I've had multiple testimonies from people saying that like, hey, I follow you because one of my friends, family members, spouse is is fat. And I remember like one girl I met, uh, she we, we met on the plane. She had been trying to get her best friend to go on a trip with her for years, literally years. Her friend could not tell you, could not tell her why she didn't want to go on this trip. When she saw my page... She went and asked her friend, is this the reason why you haven't been going on these trips? Mm. And she said, yes. And for the past four years, these jokers have been going on trips. You know, mm -hmm. so like, that to me is like incredible because it's just that lack of representation. And so I try to be that, you know, like I, I tell people all the time that like uh, representation matters. When people see themselves represented, they'll get out there and go do it themselves. Like, or be like, you know what? I can go do that. Like I, one of my friends, Tiff, Tiff heard, Tiffany heard, she was on a camel. And I was like, oh, I didn't ever think I could get on a camel. And she was like, Jim, the camel can hold like a thousand pounds on his back. And I said, well, shoot, I ain't a thousand pounds. I can get on this camel, you know? So it's it's beautiful to see other people doing things and make mm -hmm. you get inspiration and motivation to be able to go do it yourself.